It all started here. People said this is an UFO. Some other people said that Epic Games is just trolling everyone. But then this happened. What's up YouTube, Cinema of Gaming here bringing you all the Fortnite events that happened so far from Season 3 till Season 9. Let's start with the Meteor event. The Meteor event was an event that happened in Season 3 and started off Season 4. The event was responsible for destroying Dusty Depot and eventually caused most of the live events in game. The Meteor event started when players began seeing a small comet in the sky that kept getting larger by the day. The community speculated that the meteor was going to hit the map and destroy Tilted Towers. Epic Games even played along with the community by placing watch stations on top of the buildings around Tilted Towers. One day the meteor started descending towards the map and hit the Dusty Depot turning into Dusty Divot. One like equals one prayer for Dusty Depot. The world will never be the same. Brace for impact. Next up we have the rocket launch event. The rocket launch event was an event started by the visitor who arrived on the map inside the meteor. He found the rocket and somehow programmed it to travel through multiple dimensions. After he launched the rocket he zoomed around the map shooting through what would be later called a rift. The rocket was about to hit tilted towers until it consumed by a rift. Then the rocket emerged nearby Loot Lake and blasted into the sky and formed a massive crack. Next up we have the cube event. The cube event started in the middle of season 5 when lightning shot down from the crack which was created by the rocket event. It created a giant purple cube on top of the hill near Paradise Palms. The cube, or Kevin the cube as everyone else nicknamed, started to move across the map and would bounce back any players who touched it. It eventually rolled over the loot lake and sunk into it. Once the cube had sunk, the surface of the loot lake became purple and bouncy just like the cube and people called the Thanos Lake.
Next up, we have the butterfly event. After the cube returned to loot like since visiting the corrupted areas, a beam above it and floating island appeared. The cube was starting to leak and was dripping into the whirlpool in Loot Lake. Due to this, Loot Lake had been renamed Leak Lake for Season 6. After a day of leaking, the cube was finally empty. The cube then started to spin and emitted white light. Then while turning grey, the cube exploded and the blinding white light covered all the player's screens. Everyone was teleported to an unknown dimension. After floating around a while, a giant rift started to form. It took the shape of a giant butterfly and started to shrink while moving over to the player. The player stuck out their finger and the butterfly landed on it. Then another flash of light appeared and the players were back on the island through a rift with Leaky Lake being uncorrupted. Next up we have the new year event. At the end of 2018 when the timer hits 12 o'clock in certain countries, a giant disco ball appears on the sky spinning on the middle of the map with colorful fireworks behind it. Next up we have the Ice Storm event. The Ice Storm event was a live event that happened in Season 7. The event was preceded by the Ice King casting a spell in an ice sphere over Polar Peak for 3 days. When the event started, the Ice King broke out of the ice ball. He proceeded to make a giant projection of himself which took form over the ocean. He waved his hands back and forth a few times before casting it forward with a large projection of mimicking his movements. After he cast his hands forward, the entire map was covered with snow.
Next up, we have the Marshmallow event. In February 2019, there was a live Marshmallow concert in-game. This concert was roughly 10 minutes long and featured multiple of Marshmallow's songs. As the songs cycled, the stadium got different special effects, anti-gravity, skydiving, etc. At the end of the event, all players were transported into a rift. Unfortunately, I'm not able to show you guys the full event since all the music are copyrighted, but you guys can definitely find the full video on YouTube. Next up, we have the Unvolting event. The Unvolting event, also known as the Nexus event, was an event that took place on May 4th, 2019. Following the event's late season 8, the vaults opened and the players could jump into the vault to enter the in-between like the butterfly event. Players were then allowed to choose a weapon to unvault. There were 6 options, Bouncers, Drum Gun, Grappler, Infinity Blade, Planes and the Tactical SMG. Players chose the Drum Gun to return to the game. After the Drum Gun was unvaulted, players were brought back to the island. After leaving the in-between, players will launch into the air to the volcano event. The volcano erupts, destroying half of the retail row, cracking Polar Peak and destroying Tilted Towers entirely. Can we get some F in the chat for Tilted Towers? Last but not least, we have the Polar Peak Monster event that will happen very soon in game. After Season 9 began, people started to notice that something was inside the Polar Peak. After a game update, a giant monster eye appeared inside the Polar Peak and started watching everyone that were close to the eye. Some people saying that's a Godzilla and others thinks it's a Kraken, but nobody knows so far what the monster is. Afterwards, the giant monster escaped from the Polar Peak and now swimming around the west side of the map. These were all the live events that happened so far from season 3 till now. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more awesome Fortnite videos like this one, then hit that subscribe button and make sure you all have the notification on so you don't miss any great Fortnite videos. This is Cinema of Gaming and I will see you guys later with a brand new video.